Private homeowners often look for a small wind turbine with a rated power of about 5 kilowatts. But after buying the wind turbine, they realize that the system generates much less electricity than they expected. And this happens more often than you think. In this video, we take a look at what a small wind turbine in the 5 kilowatt class can actually achieve and why the rated output is only half the truth. And you should never just look at the wind generator alone because it is part of a complete package consisting of several components. I also explain what these are in this video. So stay tuned and find out which pitfalls you should avoid when buying a small wind turbine, which manufacturers are recommended with 5 kilowatt systems and what really matters in a small wind power project. My name is Patrick Jutemann. I'm a neutral expert for small wind turbines from Germany. How much electricity can a small wind turbine with a rated output of 5 kW generate per year, provided you have a windy location? In general, the primary focus should be on electricity production in kilowatt hours and not on output in kilowatts. The table compares two wind turbines, each with a rated output of 5 kW. Although both wind turbines have the same nominal output, there are major differences in annual electricity production. At a site with an average annual wind speed of 4 meters per second, wind turbine A generates around 3400 kilowatt hours, whereas wind turbine B generates around 4900 kilowatt hours. At a location with higher wind resources of 5 meters per second, wind turbine B can even generate around 9600 kilowatt hours of electricity per year. Why is there such a big difference, although both turbines have the same power of 5 kilowatts? The key lies in the rotor diameter. Wind turbine A has a smaller rotor than wind turbine B. And this makes it clear that the electricity production of a small wind turbine depends primarily on the wind resource of the location and the size of the rotor. The output of the generator in kilowatts provides little information about the electricity yield in kilowatt hours. One remark on the table just shown. The electricity yields belong to horizontal wind turbines as this design is state of the art. Vertical wind turbines generally have lower electricity production. Never consider the wind turbine alone. The wind turbine is part of a system that consists of several components. One mistake that is often made is to buy individual components separately from different suppliers. It might be tempting to buy cheaper components from different vendors. The frustration that follows is probably inevitable. A classic example of such a wrong decision is when the wind generator and the inverter are not compatible or the inverter is not grid compliant. So what should be included in a complete package for a small wind turbine in the 5 kilowatt power class? An overview. A wind generator. The heart of the wind power system. It converts the energy of the wind into electrical energy. The tower. The statics of the tower must be designed for the wind generator to ensure stability. Foundation and anchoring. This includes concrete and steel foundations and, if necessary, ropes for additional securing. The foundation depends on the type of soil. Grid compliant inverter. The inverter must match the power curve of the wind turbine. It converts the direct current of the generator into grid compliant alternating current. A solar inverter cannot be used. Monitoring, regulation and storm protection. This includes monitoring and protection functions, stop switches, over voltage protection, load resistance and other protective devices. Control functions and energy management. These systems optimize the self-consumption of the energy generated. Documents and technical data. These are helpful, for instance, when applying for a building permit. Therefore, my advice. The manufacturer of the wind turbine should put together a complete package compatible with your location and your electricity requirements. This investment will pay off in the long run with reliable operation and optimum energy yield. Now to the typical costs of high quality small wind turbines in the 5 kilowatt class. When considering the costs, people often only look at the purchase price. This is too short sighted, as I will explain in a moment. The average price of a high quality small wind turbine is between 3000 and 10000 US dollar per kilowatt power. Let's assume an average price of 6000 US dollars per kilowatt. A turnkey small wind turbine with an output of 5 kilowatt would then cost around 
30,000 US dollar. Please note, this is a general average value. In fact, the range of costs varies considerably depending on the manufacturer and equipment. You will find significantly cheaper offers on the internet. However, these systems are often of poor quality and may not survive the next storm. Cheap small wind turbines are mostly more of a hobby than serious power generation. Obviously, small-scale wind power is considerably more expensive than solar. However, in many climate regions you can't do much with solar panels in winter, when on the other hand the small wind turbine produces lots of electricity. If you want to compare the economics of wind turbines, look at the cost of the electricity generated. For example, a small wind turbine with an output of 5 kilowatts produces around 8000 kilowatt hours of electricity per year at a windy location. Over a period of 20 years, this would be a total of 160,000 kilowatt hours. If you take the cost of 30,000 US dollars for the wind turbine and divide it by the total of 160,000 kilowatt hours generated, this results in costs of around 19 cents per kilowatt hour. This means that a kilowatt hour of electricity from this wind turbine would cost around 19 cents. You should compare this value with your own electricity price. Then you can see whether you can save electricity costs with the wind turbine, whether the wind power is cheaper than your electricity price. Please note that this is a very simple calculation. Please always keep in mind it is so important. The wind resources at the installation site is the crucial factor. Be sure to check the wind resources on your property or business site. Choosing the right manufacturer is essential if you want your small wind turbine to generate electricity reliably over the long term. The quality of the wind turbine system plays a decisive role here. To help you with this decision, here are some recommended manufacturers in the 5 kW class, based on my independent market research. Braun Wind Turbine is a manufacturer of small wind turbines from Germany with over 25 years of experience. Different models with an output of 2.5 to 12 kW are available. These include the Antares 5.5 with the corresponding rated output. Various rotor sizes are available. For the wind turbine, the largest rotor has a diameter of 5.3 meters. Here we see a brown Antares in the 10 kW power class, so this turbine here is slightly larger. But the rotor design is the same. A windy location in the German countryside. Another recommended small wind turbine with 5 kW output is the E5 from Rise Energy. Rise Energy was founded in the UK. The company operates internationally and specializes in the planning and installation of hybrid systems consisting of small wind turbines, photovoltaics and electricity storage. As a manufacturer, Rise Energy offers a broad portfolio of small wind turbines up to a maximum of 60 kilowatts. The 5 kilowatts wind turbine comes originally from the Spanish manufacturer Enair, which Rise Energy purchased in 2020. The rotor blades are pitched passively to regulate the output. As the wind speed increases, the blades are pushed backwards by centrifugal forces and the wind. The manufacturer Bornai from Spain is also recommendable. The model 25.3 has a rated output of 6 kW and the rotor has a diameter of 4 meters. Here we see Bornai's small wind turbine in a low mountain range in Germany. The wind turbine supplies a remote guest house with electricity. It is noteworthy that some manufacturers offer different sized rotors for the same wind turbine model. There's a simple reason for this. The longer the rotor blades, the better the wind turbine can generate energy efficiently even in weaker winds. For example, in a windy location near the coast, a smaller rotor would be adequate, but inland with weaker winds, the larger rotor would be used. And please never forget the most important question before purchasing a small wind turbine. Is my property or business site suitable for a small wind turbine? Do I have enough wind? Is the wind strong enough? A small wind turbine only makes sense in a windy location. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll be there for the next video. Bye.